Hans Spemann and Hilde Mangold were pioneers of developmental biology. They showed how the pattern of the embryo is created by interactions between one group of cells and another. In 1924, they made a famous discovery. They found that a small piece of tissue called the organizer, taken from a specific site in the early frog embryo and transplanted to another embryo, could control the behavior of neighboring cells and direct the formation of an entire body axis. The key experiment is reenacted here by a modern developmental biologist using the frog Xenopus lavis. Two Xenopus embryos are maneuvered under the dissecting microscope. The embryos are beginning to gastrulate. The blastopore, where cells are tucking into the interior, is visible as a dark crescent in the embryo on the left. The dorsal lip of the blastopore contains the organizer cells. With a pair of forceps and a fine tungsten needle, a block of organizer tissue is cut from the embryo on the left. Using a hair plucked from a human eyebrow, the block of tissue is gently pushed into a site on the ventral side of the other embryo. An hour later, the graft has healed into the host embryo, and the organizer cells have been integrated at an ectopic site. Two days later, the host embryo has developed into conjoined twins. The grafted organizer has caused the host cells around the graft to form a second body axis complete with central nervous system, eyes, somites, and other structures.